Welcome to Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7, home of the truth. Subscribe to our channel and receive breaking news, world news, along with a variety of true music on our playlist. If you would like to join us or advertise, email us at Rebuke All Devils Radio, 107.7 at yahoo.com. Home of the truth and show Wow. Shabbat and man we got this breaking news coming up out of Tonga right courtesy of BBC News get away from shore US and Japan warn on tsunami now this is as a result of an underwater volcano that erupted today check this out See that? Play that again. Okay, now let's move on. The U.S. and Japan have advised people on their Pacific coastlines to get away from the shore as tsunami waves caused by a volcano eruption in the South Pacific move across the ocean. The tsunami advisory means strong currents and waves are expected, but not a major tsunami event. People are advised to move away from the sea as a precaution. Earlier, a huge underwater volcanic eruption caused waves of more than a meter to crash into Tonga. The eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano was heard across the South Pacific. <coughs> Excuse me and eventually as far away as the U.S. Many parts of Tonga, whose capital is just 65 kilometers south of the eruption, are experiencing a near total blackout of power, phone lines, and internet services. The extent of any injuries or damage is still unclear. Social media footage show water washing through a church and several homes and witnesses said ash was falling over the capital. Nuku Alufa. Videos on social media show traffic jams as people try to flee low lying areas by car. One resident, Murtufa, said the eruption had hit as her family was preparing for dinner and her younger brother had thought bombs were exploding nearby. My first instinct was to take cover under the table. I grabbed my little sister and screamed at my parents and others in the house to do the same. New Zealand news site stuff.co.nz quoted her as saying, Ms. Tufa said the next thing she knew, water was rushing into their home. You could just hear screams everywhere, people screaming for safety, for everyone to get to higher ground, she added. The plumes of gas, smoke, and ash pouring from the volcano reached 20 kilometers into the sky, Tonga Geological Services said. Okay, so... This is uh, Jesse uh, Tusunu, uh, tsunami video out of Tonga this afternoon following the volcano eruption. Let's roll that clip. This is happening on the site on the Sabbath. The initial eight minute eruption was so violent it could be heard as loud thunder sounds in Fiji more than 800 kilometers away, according to officials in the capital Suva. The Fijian government issued a tsunami advisory and opened evacuation centers for people in coastal areas. Vanuatu, another island nation in the Pacific issued a similar warning. Professor Shane Cronin, a volcanologist at the University of Auckland, said the eruption was one of the biggest in Tonga in the past 30 years. This is a pretty big event. 
It's one of the more significant eruptions of the last decade at least, he told the BBC. The most remarkable thing about it is how rapidly and violently it spread. This one was larger, a much wider lateral spread, much more ash was produced. I expect there to be many centimeters of ash that have been deposited on Tonga. And so there you have it right there. That's going to be Tonga, Australia, New Zealand, the Pacific Islands, and, and there you go right there. That underwater explosion, look at that. Look how big that is. And that came from an underwater volcano erupting. All praises to the Most High. A spokesperson for the Australian government said the Prime Minister and Minister for Foreign Affairs were monitoring the situation and ready to provide support on request. A tsunami warning has been issued for parts of Australia's east coast and uh, Tasmania. In New Zealand, which is more than 2,300 kilometers away from Tonga, the National Emergency Management Agency said coastal areas on the north and east coast of the North Island could see strong and unusual currents and unpredictable surges at the shore. Local forecasters Weather Watch tweeted about the eruption. The energy release is simply astonishing, adding reports of people hearing the sonic boom across New Zealand. So they heard it all the way over there. And there you have it, man. You know, man can't control this. These things are, are all going on at the hands of the Most High. And he decided to let this happen on the Shabbat. So, man, pray from wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And look at this one more time. Let's let that clip roll. Look how violent it was. That was called on satellite imagery. With that being said, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Shalom.